Okay, so uh, let's uh, try out some stuff here at the Raspberry Pi's um, Retro Pi project. Let's frame this in a bit better. You can do cave store and things like that, but let's uh, look through. There are some of the different options, and we're not quite in frame here. There we go. Better not in frame. Okay, so uh, the Raspberry Pi does quite a few different things through this retro um, retro Pi project here. Um, I'm just going to show a quick overview here, and let's, um, let's try it. Let's try it. Sonic the Hedgehog. Now the cool thing is, this actually displays in simulated interlace mode on your um, HDTV is on that point through HDMI. So here we go. It's, uh, I'm using the uh, original Xbox controller, an official Microsoft brand one convert for USB. And it's working quite fun. Oh, you son of a gun. Easy come, easy go. Alright, there we go. And this plays up on very well. I'm using the D-pad. Um, some emulators actually use the thumbstick instead of the D-pad in case of this original Xbox controller. Um, if you use the LS and USB command in terminal, it will show that the uh, it is identified as a Microsoft Classic S-type controller in the terminal. Um, the Raspberry Pi does take issue with third-party controllers. So my Rock Candy USB um, 360 controller doesn't work. It's recognized, but I haven't really tried it out too much in depth with some um, with some troubleshooting. But I am going to see if I can actually pull it off. All right, we need one more. Yay, one more. So there we go. So that's Sonic. Sonic for the Genesis. Now let's uh, flick over. Let's look at some turbo graphics real fast. Oh, let's try some turbo graphics here. Um, I don't know if Darius Alpha works, but I think because that's. Uh, let's just try something I take my theme from. And there we go. Alrighty, let's play this. Oh no! Oh no! I lost it! I lost it! Oh well. Yep, 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 that's cool, huh? So let's try this sucker out again. Oh. And boof! Alright, so yeah. This is uh, in widescreen. I I um, am going to rerun this again in uh, 4x3, but... This seems to be running rather decently. I've had a problem with blazing lasers, but I think that's ROM corruption. I don't think it's actually a problem with the emulator. Um, I am going to also be trying out PC Engine CD games and seeing if I can get them to work. Well, that's enough of this game. Uh, we'll escape this. Um, let's try out some Super Nintendo. So let's scroll down here. H I J L too far. H I G Let's try an import game. Alrighty, so it's weird. This game has this weird buzz when it tries to emulate some uh, sound from the uh, from the bass line of the square tooth. But other than that, it sounds pretty fine. I'm not getting any lag. Only only lag I had was in um, in the um, widescreen mode for some reason. Other than that, this plays quite fine, as you can see. 
and it's also running in early summer. Most every emulator you're going to find that's retro on the system is going to run in an interlace mode on a um, on an LCD screen. Now, in CRT, it doesn't need to run it because CRT natively does interlace. And let's just about finish it off. Now, the sound I did notice is a little bit weird. And you can hear that there. So, I may have to do some adjusting there for certain Super Nintendo games, depending on the chipset that they're trying to emulate from the game itself. Um, let's try one more now. This is only going to be a bit of a quickie. Uh, let's try one more game. Let's try something from the NES RAM. Alright, let's try the uh, little scene port of Bonk's Adventure. Now, Bonk's Adventure came up for the NES after the fact, I believe, that it was uh, released on the Turbo Graphics. And of course, so of course you're seeing as well the interlace mode. Um, whoa, had some real sprites slow down. And time to go nuclear. Uh oh. So this is uh, your typical NES fare. Works quite fine. But anyway, so that's um, that's the uh, retro pie. So we're gonna check in once again afterwards, and I'm gonna start going through some troubleshooting, some tips and tricks to use with this. Until next time.